we were looking at was uh, automated speech recognition. or ASR okay. so there are many ASR systems for languages the general idea of an ASR system as I went through last time was to take a sound signal so this sound wave and convert it into written text a sequence of tokens okay. which may be as the problem is defined Okay, you have this sound wave coming in into the system and the system it converts this a sound wave into a sequence of words or a sequence of phonemes or a sequence of syllables a sequence of characters just then you can phrase the problem ko. This, so this is the general problem and how do these systems look like this is what the system would look like so there is this ASR system the whole thing would be an asr like and there is this uh, generator or decoder in the middle of it which has several models working for it okay so what happens is okay, there is a sound wave that you get as input whether live or as an audio file <clears throat> you extract some features from it okay. first of all you split it into segments, small segments, okay? and for each segment, so segment one and these features, let's say n features, you mark this feature and this is the value of the feature. For segment two, these are the features. For segment three, these are the features and so forth. All these go into the decoder and the decoder would spit out a sequence. And let's say we're looking at a sequence of words, so word one, word two, all the way to word n. Okay. So how does the decoder work? So this decoder has a number of models. So model one, model two, model three, and so forth. Okay. So this is not the standard. Okay, there will be exactly these models, but generally, these uh, ASR systems at least work with three more models. So there is this acoustic model that takes a look at these features and determines the sound syllable or phoneme. So it looks at several features. Here feature, here feature, so it can just as a chair sound or or here here feature, so आ साउंड है जैसे आम के अंदर ठीक है या ये ये फीचर्स हैं तो ये ते साउंड है जैसे रास्ते करते एंड दीज आर जो ते है दिस वुड बी वन फोनीम इन अ लैंग्वेज सही है या आ इज वन फोनीम तो ये जो रिकॉग्नाइजेबल साउंड होता है इन वन पीस that's a that's called a phoneme so this is the acoustic model that's one of these models in the working in the decoder and these are trained separately yeah. so you look at uh, the phonemes there's a standard limited number of phonemes in each language but if you look at the human vocal cord yeah human voice the number of phonemes that our system the acoustic system can generate is about 16,000 okay. but any particular language contains only a limited number of phonemes okay. so for example English has 40 phonemes Urdu has about uh, 60 65 phonemes okay. so the next thing the next model that uh, the decoder works with is the language model which can be similarly built as we've seen other language models so what is the probability of uh, let's say i talk about a sequence of phonemes phoneme one phoneme two and 
phoneme n <coughs> existing together and the way this model is trained again is the same way in which we trained our n-gram model uh, to detect okay, what is the uh, probability of these words existing together in a sequence these three words or four words okay. similarly we have or we can have for this case uh, a sequence of phonemes okay, what is the probability of these phonemes existing together how would we develop this model we can take a huge sample of uh, voice data from uh, YouTube audio Bayanat, Aapne Drama ke sequences se audio nikali of Urdu and you see ke kaun se phonemes zyada exist karte and you develop probabilities of these limited number of phonemes and their combinations can be unlimited. Thik hai? So <clears throat> depending on the size of this uh, n-gram that you are developing for your, in, uh, for your language model. The third model that I would like to talk about is the pronunciation model. How you pronounce words. So for each word, as I said, there are uh, there is a specific pronunciation. So for example, let's say you have this word, and I would write it on this side. You have the word acha. And it has a sequence of phonemes that uh, relate to the pronunciation of this word achha. So when you look at look up Wikipedia for a word, not the Urdu Wikipedia for the English Wikipedia, it would give you the word and its pronunciation in brackets. So it says a, ch, a. So that would be its pronunciation. And these things work, work together if you are trying to get the sequence of words out. Okay. So I'll give you another one. Let's say raste. So, so there is ra, s sound, and the te sound. So there are three uh, phonemes in these two words. There can be more or less number of phonemes in um, a single word. So this is the general architecture of uh, an ASR, how ASRs used to be built traditionally. 